here to, to address a few problems that are happening on this school board. This board is not being held to the same standards that district employees and volunteers are held to. The volunteer application for OSD consists of a few yes or no questions. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? Director Reed would have to answer yes. Have you ever been convicted of a crime relating to financial exploitation, including extortion, theft, robbery, or forgery? Director Reed would have to answer yes. Have you ever been convicted of domestic violence or assault? Again, Director Reed would have to answer yes. Dr. Murphy, I ask you, you are the last one to approve volunteers. Would you approve this person to be a volunteer? The upset over this appointment is not limited to her criminal record, but also the history of hatred towards police and her promoting the destruction of our town. The evidence is out there for anyone to see. This entire, this entire board ignored the evidence and appointed Ms. Reed nonetheless. You are not qualified to be leaders of our children, none of you, for doing this. On another note, those that stand against the appointment of Ms. Reed have been referred to as racist and bigots. We've been lectured on white, white privilege and white supremacy in this very room, even though some of us are people of color. This has never been about race. Can anyone give me any evidence that would suggest that I'm a racist? The people of color in my family, my friends of color, my students of color would strongly disagree. And quite frankly, they are upset at how carelessly racism is being thrown around this room as it diminishes instances of actual racist behaviors. One final note, at the last board meeting on November 10th, I laid out Ms. Reed's extensive criminal history, which was verified by an attorney. At the end of the meeting, Ms. Reed defended herself and said she had merely bounced a check 20 years ago. This intentional misleading of the public is further confirmation that Ms. Reed does not have the character to lead this district. One more note, I'm sure someone will step up and accuse us of hateful rhetoric. When that happens, just look at the evidence. Who is spewing hate and who is stating facts? Thank you.